Hello all, Seriously is here. Welcome back to this old save. We got a nice nebula in front of us today. I'm gonna shoot right through it to get my cursor back into the game. <laughs> um, so, what we're gonna do today, a little quick video, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna do a, uh, a acquisition of one of these thingies, a Dreadnought AI Fragment, Battleship Core Remnant. Uh, these are gonna be super useful for us in hunting down our target uh, dream sentinel interceptor for this save. Uh, we're not having much luck uh, finding one ourselves, and it's taking a long time using, I've farmed up a lot of these in between episodes, echo locators, like we got five solar mirrors too from farming these up, uh, and, and I've used a bunch of these up, I think, three or four in different systems. Can't remember how many systems I've been to, but in the last system I've, I actually got angry sentinels after me on the way out of the atmosphere, and I decided to actually try without ever installing the uh, infra knife to, uh, to take down the freighter, and it worked. It worked like a dream. So what we're going to do today is a very quick video on taking down a freighter, and then we'll use the AI core we get to uh, search this system because we are in the Ganskiv 1 system and we have a corrupted sentinels planet on a volcano planet. Volcano planets work just like swamp planets work. Uh, the only ones that don't work I think are dead planets and glitch decoration planets. I am not sure about the weird or strange planets like a, a crimson or a cerulean planets. I don't know if those work or not. I assume they do, but I haven't found one yet, so I haven't been able to test. Now, instead of getting Sentinel heat on a planet and bringing it out of atmosphere with us, we're just going to shoot the space station and probably get an AI battle right away, or an AI core fragment. A dreadnought. There we go. Uh, one star. Only one star from that. I thought we got five stars right away, but maybe not. So we might actually have to do a whole battle here. That's okay. It's not too, too bad. We ha I had to do that on the... Uh, on the way to getting the first one done. Uh, you start with, I think, two waves of one guy. Or is it two waves? It's two guys. I seem to already have two guys, so... Oh, uh, I'm, at, I'm at four stars. That's what's going on here. <laughs> they are not too difficult to take down. Uh, I am on regular normal mode settings here. So the damage that we're taking is just with three S-Class modules and the C-Class... Uh, Oh, who are all those guys? Why do we have 10 guys to take down? That's more than we had to take down before. I guess the space station is more serious of a... Uh, we'll just recharge our shields. They can do it. We can do it. Wow. Uh, they're charging in really big waves. That's going to make it hard to take down any one specific one with our weapon. So... We're going to let them pass us, actually, and try to target one guy. Of course, we overheat. One down. Now, is that going to change to nine? It did. Okay, we're down to nine. Good. If it updates to ten, we're in, we're in problems here. Problem territory. We don't want to take damage by letting our shields get too low, so we got to keep on top of that, actually. This is way harder than I was planning. <laughs> I thought the Dreadnought popped in right away when you shot the space station. That's how it used to be, I feel. So we're doing it the hard way, apparently, because I only had to fight uh, waves of one, two, three, and four ships before I got the Dreadnought by calling it in on the planet. Fortunately, I have lots of sodium. I have lots of Starship AI, or Starship batteries. I 
Alright, down to eight, finally. <laughs> we are doing damage to them because it's an uh, area of effect, but not enough. There's a guy who's coming in by himself. Got him. Alright. The more of these we kill, the less we're going to take in damage as they pass us. The easier it's going to be to target them. But I feel like we're going to have a pretty big wave uh, for the five-star battle if we had such a big wave for the four-star one. stars and we're gonna want to back, be backing up actually <laughs> we want this thing to be as far away from us as possible when it pops in now see we can hit it from here actually we can't hit it from there but we want to take out the waves of fighters first anyway so we want to be backing up as they approach us it doesn't say how many we have to kill yet but it looks like four or five Oh, is that the uh, freighter itself shooting at us? I think it was. It's got a pretty long range. A lot longer than our paltry positron ejector, that's for sure. Alright. Two or one more to kill. There he is. Alright, now we have to find the Dreadnought again. Is it going to point to it for us? <laughs> we can go like this. Uh, no, it's, I see red on the radar, but it's not showing up on my screen. That's just the space station. Where the heck did it go? <laughs> we did not go that far away. Did we? Alright, let's try this again. We've got... Dots here. Is it behind the space station? No, we did not go all the way around the space station. It's definitely not showing up on the radar. Well, uh. <laughs> not sure what to do except go in circles, scan the sky to be around here somewhere. Unless it despawned. But we still have five. Oh, here we go. I got a red pointy finally. It says out of range. Oh, there's one more ship. There we go. Now will it point us to the freighter, please? <laughs> no. Uh, what about in this mode? Well, we do have a red dot still. Let's head towards that. Uh, I'm not seeing anything out here. Got that freighter fleet. I can pulse, like there's... There's nobody here. That's so weird. 
Uh, hmm. I'm pretty sure if I shoot the space station, we're going to get another 10 fighters. I think that's what happened. Uh, well, at least we did a fun battle. <laughs> so much for getting another core. You know what we're going to do? We're going to use the one I got, and uh, so be it. Let's see. Where is that volcano planet at? Let's head towards it now. That's the one. Uh, because it's the only corrupt sentinel planet in the system, we can just use it from here. We don't need to worry about landing or anything like that. Let's activate this. And there's a distant spike coordinate. Let's go get it. We're not going to even land... Well, we are going to land at the ship. We're not going to get out of our ship here, though. Uh, I don't need to save the game. Uh, I can load my restore point at the end of this, and I can keep this one core that I have, or had. It's gone now. We consumed it to use it to find this ship. But we're going to find this ship. We're going to land right beside it. Looks like it might be daylight, or at least dawn or dusk. Probably a mountainous planet. It's volcano. Uh, it's going to have a purple filter, but what we're going to do is land fairly close to our target ship. This way we can avoid having to go to a camp, solving a riddle, uh, but I am going to have to figure out how to farm these cores. I thought that would be the fastest way, but apparently not. So I'm going to see about it. But apparently the positron ejector works fine. I, I took out the ship no problem at all. Oh, hello. This is an interesting looking one. All right, let's try to land a little bit close to it. That should do. We want to be able to be close enough that the chromatic filter of the purple dissipates when we land. Like that and covers the ship so we can see its true colors when we go to screenshot mode like this. Uh, orange, orange and white, apparently. Not too shabby, it's got the folding wings. That'll be really cool when you take off. I really like these pinchers at the front. That's cool. Uh, not my colors though, orange and white is not what we're going for. Let's take a uh, screenshot. I don't like to get my ship in the screenshot but I can't avoid it by landing close, unfortunately. So we'll take that with the glyph address. Ice and Tam Galaxy, if you like this ship. And I still have five stars. So because it's a short video, what we're going to do is we're going to try to head back to the space station. Oh, there we go. Two stars as we're leaving the atmosphere. Does that mean we're going to fight another battle here? Then do it the normal way without having to fight ten at a time? That sounds good to me. We'll give it another try. And uh, if we get our interceptor back, I don't need to reload my autosave. Fun stuff. Bit longer of a video than I expected. Sorry about that. Not that you guys were expecting a 10 minute video. There we go, three stars. So the first two waves uh, were one guy each. That's what I seem to recall. One guy down under this wave. I actually want to make some progress away from the planet as we fight, so we're not fighting too close to the atmosphere. So we'll back away as this guy approaches. There we go. Took him down. That should be that wave done. And we're up to four stars. We're going to pulse, well not pulse, boost away from the planet while we wait for these guys to pop in. Okay, then we'll stop, back up, back up. I think we might have taken one down, no? Who's that? You gotta go. I do not like face beam, guys. Quickly recharge those shields. Number three, there you are. Now I'm just holding on the back key as we do this. All right, so now we're at five stars. We're gonna have our interceptor, uh, our dreadnought pop in. 
sort of backing up here again already. Towards the planet, but that's okay. It's going to spawn out here in space. That's what we want to see. We want to lure the ships in. couple over there still. That's okay. Ooh, face beam guy. Gotta get rid of him. Hopefully that was him. Alright, who is that? Who is that? Where are ya? <laughs> Not who we're targeted on, but that's who we're taking out. There we go. Probably a couple more ships over here at the capital ship. Yeah, I see some trails. Are they going to come towards us? Probably when we get closer. Oh, no, there they go. probably going to end up losing the Dreadnought again. <laughs> Let's try to actually keep it in, uh, in view here. We know it's right beside the ringed planet. take out these interceptors. We're going to have to focus on them wherever they are. Is it just spawning more and more? It did not do this the last time I fought this thing. Alright. Well, we're just going to get close enough that we can damage it. Try to take out its weapons. Especially those beam weapons. They hurt quite a bit. You can see it's taking massive damage already. Now we don't have to take out the beam weapons and stuff on this side. We could go back to the other side and be relatively safe from its weapons, but we have to move around for those interceptors we can't kill, because they keep respawning. Oh, another weapon over there apparently. And there we go, that's it. Kaboom. Oh yeah, that's worth a screenshot. Uh, boom, there we go. Uh, I could probably do better, but that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, so. Did we get our core? We did. Dreadnought AIA fragment acquired. I can go locate another ship in another system because I didn't like this one too much. And again, I can save this one core, so I don't need to really farm these, but I want to because I just want to consume them and move on. I don't want to have to do a reload. Uh, but doing a reload doesn't take that much more time. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the future. What I will do is uh, activate or the core. Oh, it went in the starship, didn't it? Uh, uh, maybe I had another one on the freighter already? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to activate the core and check out the ship. And if I like the ship, I will keep it. <laughs> and if I don't like the ship, I will move on and reload. But I got my thing back here, so I'm just gonna. I'm probably gonna farm a bunch more of these because it's sort of fun. It's a little bit heck, a little bit. I can't talk right now. A little bit 
hectic to do it on recording. Uh, it's a lot easier with a infra knife, to be honest, because you can shoot that freighter from way further back than it can shoot you at, uh, and you know, just not take any damage at all. But that's about it for today. Uh, I guess it wasn't as short of a video as I expected. I thought maybe 15 minutes, but we're done for today. Till next time, everybody. <laughs> Have a good time.